In more than one place in the Bible, it speaks about God would harden people's hearts. So what do you think of, in the back of your mind, what do you think about when your heart being hardened? Like you think about a person like you can come to them and you can tell them the truth and they are not willing to listen. They are stubborn. They are not willing to listen to reason. What else? Mm. Like you can't get through to that person. Perhaps that person is not kind. That person is not gentle because that person has a hardened heart. So like I said, the Bible speaks about God making people's hearts hard. So let me ask you this. If God can make people's hearts hard where they won't listen, they won't listen to reason, they are more unkind. If God can make people's heart hard, can't he soften people's hearts as well? Have you thought about that? So if God can do something to a person that makes them more unkind or more or less understanding or like, hey, what you are saying is true, but I am still not going to listen. If God can push a person towards that point, whether they are in sin or God wants to do something, so he is making a person's heart hard. If God can do that, God can soften people's hearts as well. And also, if you read the Bible, he would soften people's hearts as well. He would get enemies of people to show particular people favor. So if God can change a person's heart, why, are, why aren't we praying for God to soften the hearts of the people that we want to get saved? Let's say that you have a family member that is in sin and you have been praying and praying and praying and they still are not coming through why aren't we praying for god to soften their hearts have you thought about that if god can make more people stubborn he can make more people understanding, which he have done. Why are we not asking God for this? God, this person at my job is really irritating me. Please make them more understanding of me or let them show more compassion towards me. Let them be more kind and gentle towards me. Let them have more patience with me. Let them be more understanding of me. <laughs> have you thought about that? Instead of, man, I hate that person, or if that person say anything else to me, I am going to snap on them. Instead of saying foolish things like that and arguing with people and all of that dumb stuff, why aren't we praying like that? Like I was explaining. Have you thought about that? God, please soften the hearts of that woman or that man. 
like, hey, they are giving me a very hard time and I don't want to have a hard time, God. <laughs> so please make them more understanding of me. Let them understand how I really am and I am not trying to make them mad or offend them. Let them be more patient with me. Have you thought about that? Why aren't we praying like this? Because if you think about it, God can do anything, right? But we like to put God in this tiny box here. When God is so large, we like to put him in like a tiny tissue box. <laughs> <laughs> he can only do this, only this. Outside of this, no, it is not possible. But within this tiny box, yes, God can operate within this tiny box. But outside the box, no, no, I don't believe it. <laughs> we can't put God into a box. I pray that this makes sense. God bless.